Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not your degree or lack thereof really matters when it comes to working in tech. And by tech, I just mean IT in general, cybersecurity, or even software development. The inspiration for this video came from a bunch of user comments. Here's a few of them right here. I always get comments like really similar to this. So I thought it would be really beneficial to everyone to just go ahead and make a video to cover this topic. So I'm gonna answer these two comments first. I'll talk about my experiences with different employers in regards to my degrees from WGU. I'll give my opinion on whether or not you even need a degree to work in tech, and I'll kind of explain and talk about that a little bit. I'll talk about some of my real life friends around me, like in terms of like their degree status and then what kind of like jobs and certifications they have and what and how much they make. And then finally, I'll answer this user's comment here because I think it, it deserves a little bit more explanation, but it's a really good question and I, I think it's really valid and I think it will be valuable to kind of talk about. So yeah, go ahead and smash the like button and we will get started. So first I'll just answer this user's comment, uh, really is WG recognized? So yes, WG is regionally accredited with Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities and a lot of their curriculum is made up of a lot of industry certs that have like real relevant learning objectives in them. These organizations like, you know, CompTIA, Cisco, ISC Squared, Amazon, they're kind of incentivized to keep their exam objectives and curriculum like up to date to maintain marketability in today's work environment. So from an accreditation standpoint, like WGU is accredited regionally, and then a lot of their curriculum has actual like third party vendor certifications that are, are relevant in today's, in today's workforce. And then this question from Percy Smith, they said, like, do you still work for the federal government? If so, do they recognize your degree from WGU? So first of all, like, technically, I've never worked for the federal government. Um, I guess I kind of have. I've worked a bunch of state government jobs, like at a school and then King County, my last job. And I, I worked um, on a Marine base in Japan with the Department of Defense, but I was technically a contractor at that time. But all three of those like organizations, I guess, um, recognize my degree. And I've, I've been urged to apply to like certain actual federal positions, them having known that I have degrees from WGU. And I've also been like, asked to work at other places full-time like Microsoft. I worked as a contractor a couple times, but I, I was kind of like asked to work there as like a full-time person having my WGU degrees. I've also worked at a bank and like a whole bunch of other like, you know, private sector businesses. And for the most part, like no one, I'll just like say this like quickly, like no, nobody really cares that my degree is from WGU. I don't think they would care if it was from like Stanford or University of Washington or WGU or University of Phoenix. I don't think people really care to be honest, especially in like our IT industry, as opposed to, you know, like medicine where you have to get like an actual degree and like go through residency or law school school, you have to get like an actual degree from somewhere and like pass the bar and engineering, you have to get some kind of degree that's has some level of accreditation, I guess, to get some certification. I don't really know how that works. But what I'm trying to say is like IT is like kind of unregulated in compared to like all these other industries that are like really heavily regulated that require like certain degrees. IT in general, like software engineering, cybersecurity, it doesn't legally like require degrees or anything. So the, the employers like don't care where your degree is from, as long as you have some kind of like skill or some experience or some like certification or something like that where they know what it is they don't really care where your degree is from they'll a lot of places will acknowledge that you have a degree but in the end like they don't really care especially when you have like other things to like kind of back up your your person like i i talk about it like a, deg a degree is like kind of only one slice of the pie where the pie is like if you have a whole pie you're like really employable so the other slices might be like certifications or your, like your personal portfolio or your like experience or your interviewing skill like all of the stuff is kind of a, a big chunk of the thing that like helps you to get employable and you don't need uh, I'll kind of go into this like really soon but you don't need a degree to be successful in IT or or, or anything in tech really it just helps you if, if you get it it's only going to help you but it's not like required and if you have a degree from like WG or like wherever the employer is like not going to care when it's like amongst other things like especially if you have like certs or you have some kind of experience or you know personal projects or something like this like for me I have like a lot of stuff on my resume and the the employer is like, I'm 100% sure when someone's screening me, they're, they're just like, okay, he has experience. Oh, he has some degrees. Okay, yeah, yeah. He has like, oh, WG, what's that? I don't care. Like he has CSSP and like all this other stuff. That's how it's been for me. No one cares. I'm pretty much uh, not limited to where I work. I've been either I've worked or I've been offered jobs in like every possible like sector you can you can think of. So yeah, it, to answer this question succinctly, they do, they do recognize the degree from WG. So I'm going to hop into this spreadsheet and kind of talk about some of my friends. These are like real life 
people around me and I'll just kind of like break down, you know, their salary and like education and, and all of this stuff. It will kind of give you a sense for what's possible and like what's important. This is really obviously anecdotal. It's like seven people like around me in, in metro areas, but take it for what it's worth. I think this will be like really valuable. So like, and I'll, I'll kind of talk about how each person like got the position that they kind of got into as well. So like first friend, they don't have a degree. They have like, you know, the CompTIA trifecta. They get about like 80K per year and they ended up getting this position a little bit through networking like they didn't get this they got this position like on their own but they kind of got into it from me like really like early on like a really like low level help desk job but they they got these certs on their own and then kind of through their own uh, efforts uh they ended up just getting this job that, that pays like 80k and second person uh, they don't have a degree they have az 900 which is like azure fundamentals i kind of i introduced them to it like a really cheap low level job like 10k per year um but through kind of like their their own networking ability they were able to get like a couple jobs on their own and then they they kind of ultimately ended up making 90k mostly i would say mostly their networking ability this person i also introduced them into it they ended up getting like the security plus on their own then they they ended up moving on and in, in getting another job like by themselves which pays like 100k and then this person i had like no influence on them for it they just like work really hard and they study really hard this person's like pretty pretty much like me to be honest just imagine like another another me um he worked really hard he does have a degree he has cap him, a bunch of comp asserts they might make a little bit more than this now but this person's like 100 percent hard work probably like zero or like 10 percent networking to be honest they're like really similar to me they just like work really hard this person i introduced to it same job kind of like the the 10k per year job they ended up getting ccna they found like another job on their own that paid more and then they got another job on their own that that pays this much and they they don't have a degree only thing they have is ccna and like a whole bunch of skills this person they have a degree they only have az 103 which is like an azure administrator or something like this this person is just insane and they work really hard they're they're smart i, I would say like they're smarter than me and they, they work harder than me and they think more outside of the box than i do uh, this person just like really really good he has a degree from like a state college he makes 150k and this person is i didn't influence them at all i i just i met them when i was in hawaii he doesn't have a degree he doesn't have any certs but he's just like he just his intelligence cannot be contained like i remember when i was working with him i would like have to put on my like thinking hat just to like understand what he was like saying and ho ho in hopes that I could like follow along with it when we were talking about work stuff. So this person's like really smart. So I'm just what I'm trying to convey with this is like you don't you don't need to have like a degree to like do anything, especially in IT. Like if somebody if somebody likes you and you have skills that they, that they need, they're going to like hire you because there's no like regulation blocking them. Like it's not like the medical field where they're like this guy's really good at doing surgery, but he doesn't have like a medical degree. They're not going to hire you, right? But in IT, it's like totally different there's no there's no like blocker like this and then finally this user's question they said hey josh i'm currently doing pre-work for the cloud computing program at wgu my dad who's a senior cloud engineer is worried that the degree wouldn't be valid for employers because the program is not a bit accredited do you have any thoughts on this you, you can probably guess what i'm about to say about this like especially in cloud you know it's part of it not really regulated in terms of like degrees like whether or not you need a degree like companies of course they can make like a policy or whatever but they can also break it because they're the ones like making the rules so if, if someone comes along who's good they're just going to hire you you know regardless of whether or not you have a degree and to kind of address the thing about abet accreditation like it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything uh for tech degrees especially like for example if we if we look at stanford's like cs site or engineering site they'll they say like you know like the cs department you know electrical engineering is no longer abet accredited while such accreditation is useful in certain disciplines such as civil engineering it has no it has no practical significance whatsoever in computer science and if we look at like uc berkeley uc berkeley says something similar their comp sci program has like abet accreditation through september 30 2019 but because we have decided to not continue applying for it we're going to be developing our, our own standards i mean i'm not trying to like lump wgu in with like stanford and uc berkeley or something like this but i'm just saying it doesn't it doesn't really matter and it's just like a waste of time and resources for the school to pursue pursue such accreditation for their, their tech degrees apparently otherwise they would be doing it right so you don't need to worry about it too much wgu is like regionally accredited the northwest commissions on whatever that long accrediting body is i can't remember the name right now you know and that that's fine it's good enough a lot of state schools have the same accreditation so you shouldn't worry about it too much um just go and like get your degree if you want to get it i have a bunch of degrees from wgu if you don't already know i have three degrees from there employee 
employers like don't care. They they just simply don't care. I mean, it helps, you know, to have a degree, but they're not going to like scrutinize it being from WGU, if that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this far. Really appreciate it. If you like this content, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It definitely helps my channel out a lot. Also, if you feel like supporting me or the channel, I do have a Patreon. So huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much. And to everybody else, thank you so much for watching this far. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.